Okay, let's talk about resveratrol and fizzidin. Uh, as we know, fizzidin has to be taken with a healthy fat because it's fat soluble. If you drink it with water, it just breaks apart. So that's one thing to think about. The other thing is when you sleep, you're in autophagy. That's what sleep is. It's a dry fasting for six to eight hours where you're not eating or drinking and you're turned on the autophagic processes to clean up cells and fix things. I think the best time to take fizzidin and resveratrol is right before bed. Because right before bed is when you, you know, can absorb these nutrients, get them into your bloodstream, get them around the cells, and then when you go to sleep, they can use them to get rid of senescent cells and to activate NAD plus synthesis in the cells to activate the sirtuins. So the sirtuins can fix single double strand breaks, genetic damage, deacetylate, acetylate, so code can be red and then red again. It's all part of the process of using our protein machine. So I think before bed, fizzidin and resveratrol. If you look at this chart, this is what's concerning me. This chart shows the uh, reduction in NAD over a lifetime. You can see around 30, 40, 50, it starts really going down to like 75, 80% of what you started with. Where'd it go? Well, it's still with you. It's being devoted to trying to fix problems that are unfixable. We're going to talk about senescent cells because senescent cells are the source of aging. We can absolutely say this without a doubt. Everything that happens in the body happens after senescent cells have reached a threshold of size and amount where they, are, where they are pumping out the cytokine signals that are instructing all these systems to operate incorrectly. For one, the immune system. So that's one of the problems is this accumulation of senescence. And as you can see in this chart, as the uh, senescent cells accumulate, you see all the degenerative diseases of middle age, you see all the frailty and sarcopenia, osteopenia in old age, and eventually you, you know, things break and you fall over. You don't fall over and break things. They're so brittle that they break, then you fall over. So you wanna prevent that. That's what neogenesis is all about. What you need to do daily, weekly to maintain your bone structure and strength and your muscularity because you gotta be able to move around. So the idea here is if you can activate NAD better in the cells, because they're made in every cell, all 37 trillion make their own because they need to activate the sirtuins in their cells to do the work. So if you can improve the rate of production, you're fighting against this rate of depletion. And resveratrol has been proven to uh, cause a five-fold increase in the production of NAD plus in the mechanism to make it. And that's that additional amount of NAD is activating sirtuins, which are giving you all the results of sirtuins, thinking that resveratrol is turning sirtuins on. No, resveratrol is making NAD, and the system uses NAD to turn the sirtuins on. Anyway, so that's the plan. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this kind of explains aging, and it, I'll be getting into this in great detail in future videos. But right now, the message is, I figured out the best time to take Visitin is right, and resveratrol is right before bed. So the body's got it in the autophagic state to fix things. Just like when you're on a 70 dry fast, you're five days in autophagy and all this stuff gets fixed. That's the fix period, okay? Things are pumping out of the cells, not into the cells. It's a good thing. Anyway, uh, I will talk to you soon and uh, have a great day.